Hi everyone, Denise Robinson from By The Bay Kinesiology. Today I'm going to be showing you my crystal cards and reference chart set. Um, it's a card reveal to show you all the different pictures on the cards um, and all about them if you're interested in getting them. This is a massive deck. Um, it is 180 cards and then there are two separate charts. So there's one chart with 108 crystals on it and the other chart has 72. So I'm going to show you those in a moment. But we'll start off with the whole deck and set of what you get. So there's two charts. We'll come back to those. And the cards will come back to as well. So they come in a cotton drawstring bag. Um, this is it here. Um, and inside is the huge deck of crystal cards. So they've got a little narrative there about how you can use them. It's a massive deck, 180 cards. So if you think of a normal standard um, deck of cards is 44. Um, you've got a good more than four of these happening here. Um, there's a beautiful um, beach picture on the back of the cards. And that's the deck size. It's eight centimeters. Um, and then you've got information about it, which I'm going to go through in a sec. So here are the cards. I'm going to go through each one so that you can... Um, see them I'm going to be super quick with it because there is a ton of them obviously um, so it's going to take a while to go through them but each one has a picture of the crystal um, the name of the crystal at the bottom and they're also numbered so if you're a kinesiologist or energy healer you can pick by number um, you can ask the client to pick by number if you're using them that way or you can also muscle test through them and then whatever number comes up you can then go through the reference chart with all the information on the crystal which I'll cover at the end so um, I use these all the time in place of the crystal. I have all 180 crystals, um, but for online sessions, I put them in energy circuit boards and grids and they work the same on the body. If you have the energy of the card on the body as they will the crystal, and then what you can do is you can get the client to then get the crystal if they need it. So if you don't have all 180 crystals, you don't need them. That's why I created the cards, mainly for my students. So that when they're studying and learning, um, they have this tool that they can use rather than the crystals. And I've had um, many, many now. These have been very popular over the last um, year and a half that I've had them. Uh, practitioners and stuff buy them and use them all the time. So they're a great practitioner tool to use in a clinic setting. Um, and for any healers or even just general public who is interested in crystals and wanting to have the energy of the crystals around the home. But I made them for practitioners to be able to use in clinic instead of having all the crystals there. Let's go through them. So you've got agate, blue lace agate. I'm going to do them really quick because there's a lot. Botswana agate, um, agate fire, moss agate, amazonite, amber, amethyst, green amethyst or praiselite, angelite, apatite, apophyllite, aquamarine, um, aragonite, Aventurine green and red, azurite, bloodstone, bodgy stone or shaman stone, clear calcite. You've also got green calcite, honey calcite and orange calcite, peach calcite as well and pink or mangano calcite. You've got carnelian, celestite, chalcedony, chiroit, ooh, chastolite, um, chrysocolla, chrysophrase, one of my favourite, um, cinnabar, citrine, coral, crocite, damborite, diamond, dioptase, emerald, fluorite, garnet, gold, ooh, helidor, which is also yellow beryl, hematite, herkimer diamond, howlite, iolite, iron pyrite, jade, jasper. Uh, leopard skin jasper, and then you've got mookite jasper and also ocean jasper or Madagascar, red jasper, um, unikite, jet, um, uh, kunzite, um, kyanite, labradorite, lapis lazuli, larima, um, lepidolite or lepidolite, however you pronounce it, magnesite, malachite, moldavite, moonstone. Morganite, obsidian, a parche tier. Then you've got black obsidian, rainbow obsidian, silver sheen obsidian, snowflake obsidian, onyx, opal, pearl, peridot, petrified wood, 
pre-knot, quartz, you've got clear quartz, you've got lithium quartz, you've got spirit quartz. You've also got tourmalated quartz, ro um, rhodochrosite, one of my favourites too, rhodonite, rose quartz, ruby, um, blue sapphire, sardonyx, selenite, shiverlingham, silver, smoky quartz, sodalite, sugar light, sulfur, sunstone, tektite, thulite, tiger's eye, topaz blue, topaz imperial, and tourmaline black, tourmaline pink or elba, um, elbite, or turquoise, varicite, zincite, and zircon. So this is the first set that goes up to 108 that goes with the first reference chart that I'll cover in a minute. And then we start back at the alphabet again for the next set, which is now the unique crystal set. These are ones that are more rare or that came second. I had the first chart first and then we created a second chart. Um, and then the second chart is now starting from 109. So you've got agate, teratella, you've got pink amethyst, ammonite, aqua aura quartz, blizzard stone, Brazilianite, Bronzite, Brucite, um, Cavansite, Sericite, um, Chlorite Quartz, Chrysanthemum Stone, isn't that gorgeous? Copper, Credite, um, Cuprite, Dalmatian Jasper, Diopside, Dolomite, Dragonstone, um, Demortarite, Epidote, Eutalite, Fairy Stone or Goddess Stone it's sometimes called, Fuchsite, Gaia Stone, Galena, Golden Healer Quartz, Gypsum Rose or Desert Rose it's also called, um, Hemophorite, Hiddenite or Green Kunzite, um, Hypostine, oh, um, Yellow Jasper, Lava Basalt, Lemurian Jade, Lemurian Seed Quartz, Lotus Stone or Magnetite, Merlinite, Muscovite, Nebula Stone, Numite, Pink Opal, Opalite, which is also called Tiffany Stone, Organite I've put in there too, um, Orpiment, Peacock Ore, uh, Petalite, love that, um, Petersite, Purpurite, um, Pimorphorite, Rainbow Moonstone, or it's often called White Labradorite, um, Rhyolite, Rutilated Quartz, Pink Sapphire, Skulcerite, um, Shaktite, Shungite, Smithsonite, Snow Quartz, um, Storolite, Stibnite, Stitchite, Super 7, so it's a combination crystal with all the different ones listed there, Tanzanite, uh, Tiger Iron, Tourmalated, uh, Tourmaline Green, then you've got Red or Rubellite, you've got Blue or Indusolite, and you've got Vesemlite or Idacrase, Wolfenite, such a stunning one, Wolfenite, um, Zebra Stone, Zeolite, and Zoisite. And then you've got information about the crystals and how you use them, which I talked about at the beginning. So that is the card deck. It's huge. Um, it's taken me, it took me a number of years to pull this one together. Um, and so, and then with that, I then have reference charts. So there's the first reference chart, which is the sort of original chart one, I call it on the website. Um, and then you've got chart two, which starts at 109. Both got the same information on them. They've all got a crystal. They've got the number, so you can do it by number. And the second chart starts at 109. It's got the crystal and a picture. It's got the negative emotions and what it clears. It's got the positive emotions and what it brings. It's got the physical attributes or the uses for each one. So... The first one is 10, uh, 12 pages or six double-sided pages. The second one is eight pages or four double-sided pages. So it all fits perfectly within there. So you can see all the information. Massive amount of work has gone into these. I love it. I use these every single session, the reference charts and the cards. And I use also the crystals. So the actual crystals I use each time as well. Um, and the card because I like the visual cue of being able to say to them, what does it mean to you when it comes up and getting them actually to have a visual and they also feel it because crystals are about feeling. So tuning into the feeling of it too. It's fascinating. I hope you love them. If you want them, you can head to my website www.bythebaykinesiology.com.au um, and just head to the shop and they're all in there with a bunch of other things and then there's also boxes so this is a really cool box that my partner makes um, 
I need to sort out my cards neatly. Um, and you can put them in a box like this. And then I have one on stand at the front as a feature, which is really beautiful as well. And then I can just flick through easily and grab out whichever one I'm after. Um, and they're in number order. So there's also those two. So head to my website if you're after more information. You can have a read about the whole entire crystal cards and reference chart set. Thanks so much for watching.